Hi everyone, this is Angelica. How are you today? Today's video is going to be on my experience with seeing dark entities. And this just is um, another video that people had requested and I kind of want to get it out of the way for some reason. Um, but it's helpful to people and so I'll talk about it. Um, now, the past two videos that I made, the psychic attack video and the speaking with the other dimensional being video were by request and so I did them and now this one's coming from um, what I was talking about prior in the prior video. One thing I never want to do, now I received a comment and it got me thinking because I never want to come across to people as confusing. And it could be that the psychic attack video was confusing some people. So, and I thought it was clear. I thought I was speaking clearly. I do have a lot of mutability in my chart. So sometimes I, you know, can, can go from one thing to another. And I'm really sorry for that. Um, another thing is, is that everybody has their own truth. I have my own truth. These videos are my experiences with spiritual um, concepts, ideas, experiences with, you know, things. So you can never take anybody tr else's truth and make it your own truth. But sometimes when people talk about their truth, little things about what they say help you along. And they trigger something in you that, oh, okay, that makes more sense now and that feels right to me. So you have to always kind of go on your own guidance and um, no one's truth is going to be your truth, okay? Um, even though sometimes when I talk, I think that I say, you know, when I'm talking about my experience, I, I say that some people may experience the same things and that's true. That is true. However, everything is true and then everything is not. This is so this is the the uh, confusion, and it's understandable. So when talking about psychic attacks, um, this happens to people. It's a very real thing when people are going through it. It was very real to me when I was going through it, and so therefore it's real. However, now that I've healed myself um, more thoroughly, and I realize my power within, and the ability for me to bring into my experience only those things that I wish to bring into my experience, I no longer have this problem. So there the confusion lies. Like, is it true or is it not? Let me tell you, you are the creator of your own reality. If you wish for something to be true, it will be true. Now, there's another thing that happens because say you know, these things are happening to you and you don't want them to happen. You know, you don't want to feel like you're being attacked by other beings and stuff like that. That's also true. And so, and you're a good person and you're trying to do the right thing, but it's happening. Um, that's also true. So, um, let me see where I was going with that. Um, however, our soul will sometimes put us into situations to help us grow. Okay, so if things are happening, like the story I'm about to tell you about me seeing the dark entities, there's a reason for it. It is for your highest growth. It's for your highest good. Everything is always raising upwards. Everything's always, um, you know, wanting to evolve into a more positive, you know, light, into a higher vibration. We can say it that way. So, I'm sorry if, if the video was confusing. Um, yes, those experiences happened to me and they were true. Um, I didn't just dream them up. And this video I'm about to tell you about the dark entities. Um, it will be about my experience with them and why I felt it was helpful and needed that I experienced this. So I hope that clears things up. Um, you know, I have no need now 
to talk to other beings in higher dimensions because all of that now I understand fully that that is within me and those beings were there to teach me that at that time we're all one we're one with everything and so uh, another thing about my astrological chart other than the mutability well this is another mutable aspect but I do have my south node in Pisces meaning I come here with an innate sense of spirituality I just it's just like I know it like the back of my hand and it's just normal for me to speak in spiritual terms and so sometimes I can confuse people because I'm not explaining it step by step or I'm not explaining it in a way that's very clear because you can't spirituality is not you can't put it into a box okay this world the society tries to put everything into a box makes everything really cut and dry it's this way or this way no that's not how it is okay um, yet let me explain the other aspect of my astrological chart I have Virgo in my north node okay so I'm supposed to be going towards my north node now knowing I have the spiritual gifts is one thing but then kind of merging that and um, making that um, one with the Virgo energy which is grounded practical day-to-day -day tasks you know health wellness, these kinds of things, um, thinking very analytically. So coming from the Pisces South Node into the Virgo North Node, I have no need to communicate with higher beings or spirits or all that, but others might, depending upon their particular astrological aspects or their path. You don't even have to put astrology into it. What is your life path? What is your mission? Do these things, um, you know, help you or is that not unique? You can let those things go now because you have no need for them anymore. So all these things are bringing us our lessons and they are teaching us to be the best person that we could be and the most helpful to others um, in, their, in your or my service to humanity. So I don't want to come across as confusing people and there's a lot of um, videos out there on psychic attacks I realized that right when I when I put it up they all come up on the side thing when I was like reading the comments and I'm like oh wow so this is a this is like a common a common thing but um you know I was getting requests for it so yes I have experienced similar things now I no longer do and that is because I'm really inside of myself fully um, whole and complete in who I am and no one can get through that force field no one can knock me down but me if you're low energy if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling scared fear is the opposite of love you're gonna open up the doorway for a whole host of you know negativity and that kinda leads into where I saw the dark entities um, and this is this is another story that seems kind of confusing if you don't have any experience with these types of things. Um, drugs and alcohol also open the gateways for dark entities because you are not stable in your mind. You're not clear in where you're going. You're not clear in who you are, and you're not standing true in the light. You're you're off balance. You're confused. If you're intoxicating yourself, you're confusing yourself. So that is also another way that dark entities can come. Any fear, any um, depression, like just not feeling right, you've got to try to make yourself feel happy and whole. And as long as you're doing that, as long as you are on the path of feeling happy, feeling whole within yourself, doing nurturing things for yourself, eating good food, taking walks, taking baths, whatever it is that makes you feel happy and you know you're keeping it in a loving space nothing can get you you're fine nothing is going to happen to you there's no dark entities that can get you um, but okay so on the other hand um, I used to be so after my whole spiritual awakening thing I flew to Maui for a, a, a while um, and that's a whole nother story. But I was on Maui for a long time, and not a long time, about a year or so. And because um, I felt that I had to go there. So, um, you know, I went there and I worked in, um, I, I did people's makeup and their skincare. 
I've done that for a, um, a while. I, I, you know, do worked in the beauty industry for a while. Um, and, I, you know, that's a whole other story, too. And I'll talk about that whole thing later. Um, but that's where I learned how to acquire some of my gifts in helping to counsel people. Um, I would counsel women and um, their need to find beauty outside of themselves and, and to kind of turn that more within. Anyway, that's off topic. Okay, so I was at work, and at this point in, in Maui, I could speak to um, the higher source. This wasn't, I wasn't speaking with my soul, you know, and this is the other thing. It can get confusing because who are, you know, there's no cut and dry yes or no answer to any of this. This is just my experience, so that's all I can do. I cannot, that's all I can say. I was not, you know, using any substances at all. I was not was completely sober, completely, you know, fully intact mentally. Um, anyway, but I was going through a lot of purging of emotions, a lot of um, childhood stuff, a lot of just thinking about how to heal myself, and a lot of stuff was coming up. But I used to be really, really open and trusting with everybody. And just like I would no matter what, no matter who it was, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I love that person and they would be lying to me or whatever. I couldn't quite see clearly who was negative and, and, and not bringing good things into my life and who, who was positive. I couldn't tell the difference. But um, anyway, um, I had a really good friend who, who worked there with me and um, she had had a very, very, very good heart and um, was a beautiful, very spiritual person. So that particular day I was speaking with, um, let's just say God. Well, I wasn't speaking with God, but it, I felt like God told me before I walked into um, work, um, I'm going to show you something today. And I was thinking, that's weird. Like, where did that come from? Where did that voice come from? And then I was like, okay, whatever. So I went, walked into work, and then um, all of a sudden I could see with my eyes. Now, normally I'm a very feeling person. I can feel people's energy, and um, I, I, I'm not a visual necessarily. I'm more of a feeling type of person. So I could see with my eyes um, dark entities around people. And it was like there was no good people around. Like, it was like there was no people that didn't have these entities around them, okay? Now, these were certain people that I worked with that I didn't realize had these dark entities around them. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Like, I thought something was wrong with me. I thought I was, like, going crazy. And I, like, look in the mirror, and there was no dark entities around me. Because I was like, oh my gosh, are these around me? What's going on? And I couldn't work. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, this guy comes in with a hat uh, with flames, like, like flames all over it. And he was very, very rude to me and, like, screamed some kind of, like, obscenities at me. And But I was, like, freaking out. And I didn't know why he was doing this. And then I could see, like, uh, my manager, like, standing over talking to someone. And they had these dark entity things around them. And they were, like wondering why this guy was screaming at me and I was just like oh my gosh what's happening like I didn't know so let me tell you um, some people would have like one or two around them and what it was is they were really long they were like long um, but they weren't like they were kind of like snakes in a certain way but they weren't like really thin they were like bigger and they were swirling around people, kind of like strangling their energy fields. And um, it was just, you could see it really well. <clears throat> and there were some people only had like one or two. And then some people had like four or five. And I was like shocked because I was like, wow, that person who I thought was like so wonderful, but they are wonderful. Everyone is wonderful within themselves, but they get caught up in a situation or a place of negativity where they get these dark entities around them and it's hard to get them away. The way to get rid of these things is to take back your power, okay? Nothing can harm you if you're not harming yourself. 
bad relationships, drugs and alcohol, not taking care of yourself physically, um, you know, negative self-talk, all of these things, I'm sure contribute to these negative beings, okay? And, and I'm not exactly sure. I just think I figured that out after I realized that I had talked to a few of these people and before and realized like what their life situations were. Now, I was freaking out so bad. I was like walking, walking, and then I found my friend because I was just like, leave. I was going to leave work because I was like, I can't deal with this. This is too much. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And so um, I found my friend and she didn't have any entities around her. And I was like, oh my gosh, you got to, but she was working and so she couldn't talk. And so I walked out of work. I just left. I just left because I couldn't handle it. It was too much. Too many people with all these dark darkness. I was like, oh my gosh. So I start walking down the street and I'm like walking, walking. And like everything around me was like really loud and, and dark and like people, I could just see it around all these people. And um, I went and I sat down for a second and kind of calmed myself down. And then I realized that I was fine, but everything around me was like that. And then I walked back to work, you know, because I didn't want to get in trouble. I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to like lose my job over this. But right when I went to grab the handle to walk back in, God says, okay, I'm going to take this away now. Okay, that's really random, but I walk in and everybody was normal, nothing around them. Not only that, a beautiful, beautiful spiritual woman walked up and, and like bought like 20 items, not 20, but like made my sales goal for like, you know, I don't even know, a while. <laughs> and she had this beautiful spiritual energy. So, um, you know, why did that experience happen? Okay, well, when I thought back about it, I was like, okay, that happened so that I could see without seeing but feel with my heart that some people have this going on. And I think that, that spirit needed to show me that people have this going on. And I need to not be so open and trusting with everybody because some people will come in and try to bring you down to their level. Okay, and this still happens to me. It's not perfect, you know. I still allow certain people, um, certain negative people that have these things around them, you know, and, and they're my family members, like the the family that I was born into, um, the people in my family are very, um, a lot of them are very, very, um, not, they're not well. They're not well, and they're not doing anything about it to make themselves well. So sometimes they'll try to call me or you know, um, just, and, and they get to me because I am a really loving person and my family can get to me because I really want them to be healed and I want them to experience happiness. But the only way they'll do that is from seeing me be happy. And I don't think getting caught up in talking with them or communicating with people that aren't on your same level is really that beneficial because they can trigger you and you may fall back into negativity. Okay, well, this video is really long and I didn't really want it to be this long. I just felt that I had to clear some stuff up and I'm sure that there's going to be some people out there that are more confused than ever now. So, because um, this story is not, you know, a story that many people have in this reality. We're closed off our minds and you know, we're in this little box and this is all we're supposed to believe. We're very narrow minded. And when you go through a spiritual awakening, you're, everything kind of blows up and you see everything and hear everything and feel everything. But then, you know, I make these videos to bring hope to people that are going through this. Okay. When I was going through this, the, when my Kundalini awakening happened and I went through all of these things, you know, no one understood me. I didn't even know what was going on with myself. It was horrible because I was very, you know, upset because so many things come along with this. And, you know, I want to bring you guys hope so that you know, not only do you get through this, 
you become very balanced. You become very clear in your mind. You become, you can still feel all that stuff and communicate if you want to with, you know, those beings or whatever. You can. You can do all that. You are the creator of your reality. But you decide what you bring in, what you put out, you know, um, once your stuff is kind of cleared and purged and the emotional healing has taken place, you have more control over what you're doing, you know, and um, how you're coming across and everything, how you're feeling, you're feeling more balanced. So these videos aren't to confuse people. They are to help you and give you hope to know that if you are going through these experiences, that you won't always be and that you will come to a place to recognize that you did go through those things and those things happen and you choose to do this now, whatever that may be. And hopefully it is something that's serving humanity and helping humanity and helping yourself so that everything and everybody can start to heal and we can help, you know, create the beautiful, you know, world that we're here to create. So that's all I have to say. I'm sure I'll get some questions and comments about this. These are not usually the kind of videos that I um, would normally make. These are all the past, this one and the past two were all um, requests. And I'm glad that they, you know, were brought up so that I could, you know, um, tell you a little more about my experiences with these things. Um, but I have a certain agenda, like a certain kinds of videos that I like to um, put out there. Um, and so I'll get back to those now after this. So, okay, have a great day. If you would like to set up a spiritual guidance session with me, please go on my website. That's below the video. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.